So on the day one, I have simulated uh, this product backlog on the wall with uh, different uh, product backlog items here. And then the sprint backlog is represented here on the wall with different items that we had taken in for work in progress and then the increment that we have created at the end of uh, day one. Uh, now I have simulated a few conditions related to the product backlog. Uh, I will just show you the sprint burndowns that I have drawn and you can see that in the first uh, sprint I have simulated a condition where uh, we have not been able to complete all the items and uh, in the sprint 2 uh, we have simulated a condition where uh, we had an early completion of the sprint. So we took up another item and uh, we took it for execution. Uh, you will see here uh, the story that I have done uh, and explained the entire uh, uh, entire scrum life cycle and of course the vision which I had drawn at the start of the day uh, yesterday that is uh, uh, in the morning. You can see these are some of the charts that uh, I have drawn over the day. The Ralph Stacy model to explain the complexity uh, and applicability of the scrum, the agile manifesto and then uh, this is the scrum framework charts that has been drawn and then um, there were a few exercises done in the morning to explain working agreements as well as uh, people had put their questions on parking lot board so that uh, I could address their questions. There is also this expectations of people from this workshop uh, I had asked them to put it up in the WII FM board and they have put this up uh, and I will be solving this uh, today when I uh, take the uh, second day. And then of course uh, there is this burn down charts which are drawn. So this is how overall my uh, room looks at the start of the day on the second day.